Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, start the uh, meeting. Just so you know, the camera and the recording are on. Um, today, uh, we're joined by myself and uh, Natasha Yakovlev. 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 And uh, Elaine Real. I'm sure uh, Elaine Real. Um, at this time, is there any public comment? All right, seeing none, we're gonna go on to item uh, number three, continuation of the violation hearings um, as a result of compliance check by officers in Northampton Police Department with assistance from the Northampton Prevention Coalition. Um, so we're going to uh, open that hearing now. Anybody that is going to be a witness that was not here before that hasn't been uh, sworn in, can you we need to swear you in. So if you're going to testify, there's no one. Is there anybody different? I think the manager. The manager. Is the manager here? From um, the Taipei, yeah, in Tokyo. Owner, manager? Uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to swear you in. So um, raise your right hand. Please. Do you uh, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth? Yes. Okay, thank you. I don't know what else to say, I'm not allowed to say. But, uh, well, you two are here during that, so where we left off. Are you the owner or the manager on record? Um, I'm the manager. You're the manager, okay. Mm -hmm. And you were the person who was away in the last hearing. Um, yeah, I did not attend to the. Okay. Were you on vacation the last year? Right, I was on vacation. And my sister may not come here right. with the uh, waitress. Mm -hmm. Can we get your name for the record? Can you spell uh, it, please? Kong, Kong Fan Chen. Uh, Can you spell it? K U N G H U A N. Last name is Chen C H E N. Thank you. who was serving the night that this occurred. And um, we had, the waitress had full culpability for it. She recognized she had done it. Okay. The manager hadn't seen what had occurred. She wasn't think, in fact in on the premises right. when it happened. Right, okay. she came back in after the fact. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about what practices they have in place for compliance, do what types of trainings have they done. The waitress who was working has worked for Taipei and Tokyo for a number of years, but off and on. And she felt like she was up to date on trainings that she hadn't needed any additional um, compliance training or to serve okay. safe training. All right. So we asked, we felt that we couldn't make a decision because the person who was responsible right. for the business wasn't here. So is there anything you'd like to add? Is, no? Yeah, I, because the, um, when it happened, I wasn't in the restaurant. So that's... Um, Where were you? I was uh, delivering food to the customers. So I wasn't in the restaurant. So when I get back, and then I even don't know if that happens until the police came to our restaurant in the very day night. Okay. Right. So uh, we're faced with a dilemma. We, you have have been through this before, and yeah. I don't see the waitress here for the continuation. The one who right. said that she had, in fact, um, admitted that everything had happened just the way the police officers had testified. Um, and when she testified that she had worked for you for a number of years, but off and on, right. we asked her. Well, when you came back to work this most recent time, did anyone say anything to you about checking IDs? Were you given a refresher? Was you were you given yeah, any we always, kind of policy? Yeah, we always remind us ways stuff to check ID when they serve uh, alcohol. And, and why did she say to, no? Huh? Why did she say that no one had said anything to her? Really? Uh, I don't know why she said no, but we always um, keep telling our. Um, Keep reminding our way staff to check the ID. We even put um, now we put a post like a little post on our 
near to our alcohol products, then just re t try to remind them more to check the ID every time they serve the alcohol. And when did you start that? Uh, when I come back, um, I think before I leave, before I went on vacation. Okay, so we're, we're, we're sitting here in a difficult situation because you've had two violations. Out of all of the people, all of the businesses who work very hard to follow these policies, and we know they're hard policies, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we gave you a break. You know, we suspended punishment for six months, and then just shortly after the six months runs out, again, the exact same thing happens in your restaurant. Um, and, and, and I don't see or hear anything from you or your sister or the waitress that leads me to believe that things have, have we, changed. We always try our best to mm -hmm. you know, keep reminding our, our stuff to prevent this ha happen. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a written policy that you have people sign? Uh, we don't do that. Okay. We don't have that. Maybe we can think about to do it, have that. But sometimes the written policy is not really works even. Every time um, when I be in the restaurant, I always remind them to check the ID when I see them to serve alcohol. Even I know they already know that, but I still tell them that. But sometimes they might forget for some reason. Or you're not there. Yeah, then the mod have been worked for me for like one or two years. She's a really nice waitress. She never um, sit down, um, I mean, made a mistake before. So I, but I don't know why that night she's just served alcohol to a young kid. I have a uh, question. Um, I notice a lot of restaurants will do pre-shift meetings, you know, with your staff, mm -hmm. kind of just to kind of go over things, you know, mm -hmm. things that have changed, so on and so forth. Do you guys practice that, like every well, every day before your shift starts? We start? don't have that kind of meeting, but every time when I hire new new way stuff, I would definitely tell them that and every time when I see them to serve an alcohol, I would mm -hmm. remind them, did you check ID? Okay. If not, go check ID before you bring that wine out. Sure. I always do that when I, you know, once a little while. I understand. I don't have any further questions. Um, Travis, 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 Travis. Do you have anything else you want to share with us? Because we, we have obviously a, um, a situation here where we understand people can be well-intentioned and make mistakes, but we also have a whole lot of businesses who work very, very hard not to have this kind of double violation is what I see. Um, um, so I'm, I'm going to say I appreciate your waitress's candor, um, and I think that there needs to be further changes to make sure that your staff take this very seriously. Um, so, unless you have anything further to add, I'm going to, at this time, thank you for coming before us. We appreciate your time, because I know you have a busy business. And at this time, unless you have something further you want to add, I'd like to hear from uh, a representative of the police to see if they have anything else they want to add to the meeting before we close it and go into deliberations. Uh, no, I don't have anything to add. All right, well, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you much. Does anybody from the uh, Northampton Police Department have anything to add? I think I summed up our our opinion at the last meeting. Just uh, you know, certainly being respectful of, of the situation and, and trying to run a business, but also acknowledging that this is a hundred percent failure in two times. Uh, and and I'm cautious about a precedent that we'd be setting for future violations if we were to to not hold this business accountable uh, in some way. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Chief. Uh, any other questions or anything? I can go to close it. Yeah. Okay. No so do we have a um, I make a motion to close the hearing. Second that. Second. Okay. All, All in favor? favor? Aye. All right, thank you. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm just going to, it's pretty evident from, from perhaps the way I, I'm sorry if I perhaps overreacted, but it, it is, it is tough when we see these situations where people try very, very hard, and right. uh, we expend a lot of time and public safety money, frankly, Absolutely. on doing these compliance checks. And everyone knows they happen about the same time every year. 
Um, and I, I was, um, I was concerned because um, the one thing that the business, after having already had one violation, did not send. And I understand people take vacations. Didn't send their their owner or manager, um, and the person who they did send um, had no knowledge, had not been on the premises. So we had uh, the waitress who was very forthcoming, and I certainly think that she was um, very honest and honorable, and I appreciate that. But um, I agree with the chief 100% that um, we are very, very liberal on this commission, giving everybody a chance. Well, can I uh, make a suggestion? I mean, sure. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'm thinking two and two. That if we take it for two days and we suspend it for two days, uh, another six months after that. And I just, you know, enough is enough. So, if you think it should be more, you know, up front, then... No, I, I don't think we need to be punitive, but I think we need to make a statement to the community yeah, that, no, so, that we do hold people accountable. Yeah. It was back to back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So. It's a month or two out. And could I add, um, since we seem to be having a meeting of the minds here, that maybe as part of the motion we might strongly suggest the development of a written policy yes. by this business. And that, the training for all employees. Yes, that it be signed by their employees. So when someone comes back like this waitress and she says, well, I, you know, I just thought I knew everything, so there's no refresher, there will be evidence that right. somebody was told. Yep, I agree. Do you want to make that motion for? Uh, well, Brian, it's I'll let you make the motion. Okay, so I make a motion that we're going to suspend the license uh, for two days, with also um, another two days um, for uh, suspended for six months. Um, yeah, I'm right now. No, How is that saying? Yeah. It's not two-day suspension of the license to be suspended for six months. So they're going to lose the license and uh, I think um, let them pick, you know, um, within reason time to do that. Um, also, they need to conform to a written policy for all employees, um, especially where um, rules of uh, license commission and ABCC come in involved. So, and up-to-date training. Mm -hmm. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Oh, uh, the copy of whatever written policy is put together should be submitted to the clerk of the commission when it's completed. So we have proof that it's been carried out. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on to number four, entertainment application for Norris uh, Juice Bar, LLC, GBA, Norris Wellness Cafe, location 10 Bridge Street, North Hampton. Proposed entertainment, occasional acoustic shows, typically not held past 9 p.m. Do we have a representative? So we'll table that one. All right, and now number five here. So uh, change the date. So are we holding on some of Okay. All right. So number five, application for short-term liquor license. Trustees of the Forbes Library, DBA Forbes Library. Uh, let's see. So changing from May 27th. Is it changing from May 27th? I don't think it's from the library here. Oh, we're going to find it in here. Okay. No, no I'm from the library. Table that one as well.
Okay, the date for May 14th, um, 7 to 10 p.m., Laura Marling concert, location 274 Main Street, Northampton, Wine and Malt, request a fee waiver. And also, May 19th, 2017, 7 to 10, David Crosby concert, same address, uh, Wine and Malt, and also request fee waiver. And can we have the name of the gentleman who is very familiar to us <laughs> for the record? Um, my name is Addie McDonald. I'm the manager of the Academy of Welcome back. Is there any difference in, in what you'll be doing this this time, sir? No. Okay, the same serve, and we've same gone through this many times. Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. But I just always like to see if there's something new and novel. No. I haven't spiced it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you let us know you need to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, sir, so you want to share it to there. Um, so, a few waivers. So, I want to make a motion on that. I make a motion to approve the short term liquor license for the Academy for Music on Sunday, May 14th from 7 to 10 p.m at 274 Main Street and Friday, May 19th from 7 to 10 p.m. also at 274 Main Street and for both events, we approve the fee waiver. I'll Except. second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Seven application for short-term liquor license, Quick Workspace. Thursday, May 25th, 6 to 10, Quick Music Concert, 9 and a half Market Street, Northampton, Wine and Malt, fee 61. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can you state your name, please? Sure. I'm Allison Klayna, K-L-E-J-N-A. Uh, I'm the director of Quick Workspace. Thank you. So you have um, all your insurance, surf safe, everything. It's yeah, anything still changed? Listening. No, this is just another one of the monthly concerts we've been doing okay. for the last few months, and we'll have one of our board members who is served, uh, served safer tips trained um, serving at this one. Okay. There, uh, any questions? I have no questions. Oh, okay. All right. Who, um, who is your serve safe trainer? Trainer or the person who's going to serve. Or who's qualified? Yeah. Um, I am, and our board member Delila Gomes, and she'll be the one who's serving. That's who's serving. Yeah. Okay. She has a lot of employment in catering, so she does that. Okay. Outside of us as well. Yeah. All right. Is it G O M E S? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll make a motion to approve the short-term liquor license for Click Workspace on Tuesday, May twenty-fifth, from six to ten p.m for a music concert at nine and a half Market Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank Aye. you. Aye. Take care. Aye. Application for short term number eight. Application for short term liquor license, Glasdow Land Scottish Festival, Inc. July 15th, 2017, 9.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Festivals featuring various types of events, entertainments, vendors, nonprofit, proceeds go to River Valley, Counseling Center, Holyoke, and Forum House Westfield. Look Park is the location, uh, 300 North Main Street in Florence, Wine and Malt, fee $61. Hi. Hi, I'm Peter Langmore, I'm the chairman of the festival. Okay. And uh, this is the uh, 14th year we've been in Northampton. 24th. I don't think we've had a beer license for, for 14 years, but. Okay. You certainly can be, folks from your organization have been before us for, for quite a while now, so is there anything that you're doing new or different? Um, not, no, not really. We have a new band, uh, and uh, what, we will have a new beer. I, I learned this since I sent the application in. Uh, we had Paper City Brewing, who is apparently out of or going out of business. So we're uh, trying to negotiate. We are nego not me, but we have a guys with a New City and Art Beverage or Art Bev. So I don't know what the name. <clears throat> so that's 
pending, we have to have someone because that's half of our yeah. <laughs> income. Uh, and so I understand this would probably be, if you approve, it would be uh, I, conditional. I, conditional. Are you finding a qualified vendor? Yes. Yes, and those I know that uh, New City's on the list. I don't know the other one. I just heard about it today. So, um, Cindy, do you have any recollection of uh, New City being on our approved vendor list? I just look, look it up. Okay. You, you know how where to look it up. If you, I if did you look it up, and they are. They are. Yeah. Sure. I, I don't know about this other one because someone else is. I don't even know what art bev is. It must be artisanal beverages. Or something. But um, I, don't have it. I don't have that list. I can certainly help. Okay. Great. And so you serve, say, if you have six people listed. Um, yeah. Are they all serving or no? Just someone from this list, however. Serving. Someone from the list, what? They'll be your servers. You have yes. six people listed. Yes. Yeah. Um, I understand I have to. Uh, Annie said she wanted to see the actual certificates. Okay. I don't have them. Uh, I have to get them from the people. So, again, it would be conditional, but we will have them. Okay. And we appreciate you coming before us in a timely manner. Yes. <laughs> giving Thanks. us the time because these things happen I, I just yeah. want to give everybody a little lesson here and why it's, it's really good to come before us with a little bit of lead time lead time because if there's something like this we can approve something conditionally and have things taken care of before your event happens I, I appreciate you I have the check so I'll just give that to could I say that uh, last year uh, our festival's nonprofit we, uh, because of the uh, beer and the admission, we were able to give away twenty-one thousand dollars. Wow! That is remarkable and very commendable. Twenty to each of those organizations, and a thousand to Look Park for their train. Uh, oh wow! The train, near and dear to my oh. grandson's heart. <laughs> oh, we're kind of proud of that. Yeah, that's well, great. you should be. You should be. That's a that's a significant amount of that's great. of money to raise. Anybody else have any questions? No. I do not. Do you want to make a motion on that? Because you have the two conditional. I'll make a motion that we conditionally approve the application for a short term liquor license for Glasgow Land Scottish Festival taking place on July 15th, 2017, from 9 30 a.m. to 10 p.m. And the type of, of license will be wine and malt. And this is conditioned on them obtaining a vendor who is ABCC approved. What was the other condition? Certificates. Oh, uh, that you furnish certificates of, of serve safe certification to the commission's clerk. Thank you. Uh, before the event. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Nine public hearing on an application for transfer of seasonal wine and malt license and common drink license from Save Inc. DBA Siam Square to I don't know, I'll say Tawan Inc. Asian Taste. Anyone here? Thank you. Hi. Can you state your name, please? Kanita. Spell that for us, please. K A N I W T S J. Thank you. And you, uh, Kanitha, you have a last name also. Is this a Lurt Sang? Yes. Yes. Well, why don't you say it out loud for the record? That's all. Le Sang Okay. We've got that spelled here. Thank you very much. Uh, why don't you tell us what's going on? Uh, I just bought a new restaurant from my friend. Mm -hmm. Which is Satian, and I bought them. And yes, like I want to transfer the license to be on. Okay, and when will the sale be final? Uh, it's already been final in January. Oh, okay. So we've been open for a couple of months already without right. the license. Okay. That's my main question to figure out when this was happening, but it's already happened.
while he's doing that, I'm going to ask you a, a, a perhaps very basic question. Your signage hasn't changed yet. I haven't seen Asian taste stuff. Have yeah, I missed something? Yeah, we just decided to change the name just um, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and we're working on getting a new sign right now. Okay. So we probably put I'm just curious. Because um, yeah. I, so I was like, huh, yeah. Siam Square. I walked by Science there today, and it yeah. said Siam Square. It is still Siam Square. Yeah. Okay. Well, that 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 uh, you know, no mystery there. That's good. I hope you get some nice signage up, and we can all check out Asian taste. I hope too. So everything seems to be in order, paper more um, I have no questions. Does anyone have any other questions? I have no questions. Do you want to see paper? Yes, I would. Thanks. Thank you. Actually, I've seen this because Annie so nicely sent it. That was great. She did send it to us. Yes, so I've already looked at it. I'll make a motion to approve the transfer of uh, the seasonal wine and malt license and common Vic license from Siam Square to Asian Taste. Thank you. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Best of luck. Take care. Thank you. Okay, uh, number 10, update on the status of license, uh, one bar and grill requesting six more months to allow for the sale of license. How are you? Hi, good. That gives yes. owner, former yeah. owner, shareholder, one bar and grill. So, come before you guys today, I was in a negotiation process with a prominent business owner that fell through uh, in town, but I currently have two other current business owners vying for the license. So I'm requesting time to finalize the sale to one of those two businesses that are both located in downtown. Um, so Do you think negotiations would be concluded in three months? I'm not sure. Um, it's not, our, our bank is also, the lawyers in the bank are also handling it. They're the ones who requested six months, not myself. So I'd be more than happy to come back and give you an update in three months. How about we get them, give them the summer. I mean, and, and have them come back in yeah. September. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I, well, I know, we're, I, we're hoping lawyers for, are often very we're hoping cautious. for a short sale, but again, I just went through the last six months of dealing with a couple people that yeah. flaked out. I'm sorry. No, it happens. I know that you came to us very nice. Yeah, you know, we you know still trying to get that back in play here somewhere in town. You know, and hopefully sure. uh, it'll come to play. Okay. Um, I don't have any. I know. That's just curiosity. You know, I, don't think we're, yeah. unless he wants, I don't think he wants. You want to talk to, to me it. later? I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, until I have something on paper, yeah. I'm not yeah. worried. That's all right. Do <laughs> not do anything so, to interfere yeah, with no, a, believe me. No. your possible uh, yeah. sale. Okay. So we'll make a motion to go till September. Yes. All right. Yep. So I'll make the motion that um, we allow till uh, September for the um, sale of the license or the update. I should say. For one bar and grill. Yes, if you haven't completed a transaction um, by our meeting in September, you need to come back and ask we'll for a further Thank you. extension. We'll do. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Thank Thanks. Okay, discussion number 11 discussion of fair wage compliance certificate. We have our um, forms in our issue. Oh, all right. Well, let's. Yeah. Okay, so number five. Number four, too. Number four. For entertainment application for Norish uh, Juice Bar LLC. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. I'm Ethan Vandermark. I'm the owner of Norish. Can you say um, that again? I didn't hear you. Ethan Vandermark. Oh, hi. How are you? Thanks, Ethan. How's it going? Good. Good. So, tell us a little bit about what's uh, what you're planning here. Um, so, we were hoping to do a little acoustic. Um, 
music shows monthly at the at the least um, monthly from like 7 to 9 p.m. Um, yeah. it would be like Monday through I think I put it down on there Monday through s Sunday just to open it to be able to have it on any of those days but it would usually be a monthly thing just to have some people um, do kind of an open mic thing, but it wouldn't. There wouldn't be a microphone. <laughs> it would just be acoustic. Um, sort of a jam session. Is that what you're? Um, more just like local. Uh -huh. Local people. talent. Yeah, local talent. Like Sam does. Is that? Um. Yeah. Similar. Probably not as like rocking as them, but <laughs> they they got like a full band. But we're thinking s small. Um, stuff that's easy to handle where we don't Someone really, playing a guitar. Just, yeah. yeah, exactly. One person coming, maybe someone on a Congo or something. I don't know. But, um... Sounds fun. Yeah, we were hoping to just lively it up a little. And you're below attorney's offices. Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah, and they, I believe they're not there in the evening. Right. So, lucky for us. Mm -hmm. So is the application uh, saying that their 9, 9 p.m. is the ending date? Yeah, it's the time, but I was just going to ask, is there any stipulation or do they all kind of come in at a certain time at 1 a.m. Or, or can we put stipulation on that? Um, I think that since uh, they've represented that it'll not be held past 9 p.m., that that's sh what should go in the license. We usually talk with people, mm -hmm. depending on the area of the, of the city. You're pretty confident nine will be done and shut off, right? Um, we close at eight, so my employee, I, I, yeah, oh, I don't okay. want to be paying them too, yeah, yeah, too far oh, past it. So I think nine p.m. is yep. a pretty good. Perfect. All right, then we'll, we'll, we'll put that. Yeah, in. that's yeah. fine. Okay. That's great. Excellent. And of course, if things change, you know, you can always come back and revisit this. Okay, great. Good enough. I make a motion to approve the entertainment application for Norris Juice Bar LLC located at 10 Bridge Street in Northampton. And this would be for occasional acoustic music, typically or not past 9 p.m. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Best of Take luck. Care. Hope it goes well. Thank you. Have a good day. You do. You too. Number five, application for short-term liquor license. Trustee of the Forbes Library. Um, I would just inform the chair that since we have a full quorum, I will be recusing myself because I am a trustee of Forbes Library. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the date's um, Saturday, May 27th, time 2 to 4 p.m. Event, trustees award ceremony, Coolidge Museum, reception, and adjacent gallery. Uh, location at Forbes Library, 20 West Street, Northampton, type wine and malt, request a way fee or, uh, um, request fee <laughs> waiver. And also September 27th, 7 to 8.30, Straw Dogs, author showcase, uh, author reading and reception, same address, wine and malt, also request fee waiver. Hi. Hi, I'm Lisa Downing from the Forbes Library. There um, there has been a date change to one of my applications, which I apologize for. That May 27th event, oh, we do have yeah, that. it has been um, changed to June 14th. It's a Wednesday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, one of the award recipients had to change the date um, sure. uh, to accommodate him, so I apologize for that. Okay. No Lisa, I'm sorry, did, did I, maybe I misheard. So the time has been changed as well as the date? Correct, because it's now a Wednesday, so we're going from a Saturday afternoon to a, a Wednesday evening event. Okay. Yeah, it says from 7 to 8.30 p.m. So the time's right here. Okay. Okay. So, um, surf safe. Um, Yes, so I've been working with, with Andy. She's been very patient with me. To, so I've updated my, uh, the, we have new insurance, so we have a new insurance certificate and our serve safe certificate, which is Steven Stover. He also works with the Arts Night Out folks um, for the for the second um, uh, second Friday events as well. Okay. Right, insurance. Yeah. 
assurances of today, everything's here. So um, I don't have any other questions. Does anyone have any other? I have no other questions. Would you like to make a motion to? I would like to do that. I would like to make a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor license for the trustees of the Forbes Library on June 14th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. as well as September 27th from oh, June 14th. June 14th. June 14th. What did I say? September 27th. Oh, oh there's two events. Oh, we have yeah, May, yeah. we have so June the 14th and it. then yeah. September 27th. Oh, okay. So that um, and I move to approve the requested fee waiver. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And Lisa, I want to congratulate you. I saw the good news about the Valley. Oh, a yes. Thank you. Yeah, they, you had a good day. They made a really good goal. Great. Right Congratulations. Thank you. Right. So 11, discussion, fair wage, compliance, certificate. That's good to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I looked at it. Did yep. you look at it? I didn't get a chance. There was a couple of changes on it, and uh, whoever did it did a good job. Yeah. I'm looking I'll at Annie. I'm looking at Cindy. And with Alan's input, I see. Yeah. 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 Look, I thought it looked good. Yeah. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. Thanks. Um, did you decide, though? So we're hoping that because of the staff change and what's everything that's happening that it happens along with renewals in September rather than now and then again in September? I think that makes sense. Of course. Do you want us to make yeah. a motion for that effect? Well, I think it was discussed at the first meeting to, to have that come back to around as discussion. So. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a motion. I'm just sim simply going to move that that as presented to us, this is an, this fair wage compliance certificate looks terrific and that we will implement it as a commission with the next round of license updates in September of 2017. Thank you. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Will the person who brought it to us be notified that we've come to this conclusion? How does that work being new on the committee? We can notify them. Okay. Just send them an email saying it's going to take effect in, in September yeah. so that they don't think that we just right there wandered was, off or right something. there were several people who came made impassioned mm -hmm. pleas and yes. I thought they ought to be given an update great thank you thank you yes, thanks all right number 12 new business is there any new business um, I have somebody okay actually I think that might be a question for. okay well we can cover that that's next so uh, I got a uh, short-term application for actually it was a wide Farmer Wiley for the farmer's market, and they wanted it for this Saturday, and they brought it to me yesterday, so I don't know if anybody's available for a meeting next week sometimes. Did they already turn in all the paperwork, insurance, yes. and serve safe? Yes. Uh, safe serve and everything? And they want it for this Saturday's farmer's market, or the next one? Well, it was supposed to start this well, Saturday, but... I mean, is that something where you need, we would need them here if they have all the paperwork in? Well, that's what I think we publicly voted on. And, yes. And right. Oh, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Is there some particular reason why they waited until the absolute last minute to get this? Might be a last minute entry. They, they got their MDAR certification. So once they got that, sorry, Lynn from the mayor's office. I yeah, hi, Lynn. Annie. Yeah. <laughs> so they got the, so Annie received everything yesterday. And informed them that, they, that she had already posted the agenda, and it was they were with outside outside of the 48 hours or inside of it, I should say. And um, she informed them that they couldn't serve on Saturday or sell on Saturday, but she would bring their request forward to see if you would honor an extra meeting in May so that they could start selling at the Saturday market. So they were waiting for the Mass Department of Agricultural Resources to sign off on their um, farm winery uh, to allow them to sell at farmers markets and they just got that it looked like according to the paperwork it looked like they just received that and who is it What's um outlook farm yes oh okay. okay yeah i mean as far as i'm extra meeting i'll try and make this one i was gonna say brian <laughs> if you don't make i'm all this for one, it so <laughs> yeah yeah we noticed this yeah. we noticed this <laughs> Sorry. Uh, three consecutive terms that's uh, all this is 
say three meetings a month is not exactly what. Yeah, I haven't missed them all. Uh, well, we're just going to give you a hard time anyway. Yeah. So we're picking a date? So we're looking for next week. The earliest you can meet is Monday because of publishing an agenda. Um, so, really. how about Wednesday the tenth? Anybody available on that day? Yeah, right now I have nothing. But I could do Wednesday the tenth. What time? Um, you want to do a four? Is that is oh, it better you know at the, at, at better at the end of the day or? Yeah, if it's gonna be. It's only one item, so okay. it should be fast, yeah. I can. All right, does, does Lynn, as far as you're aware, that they're available? Um, I don't know that we've even floated dates by them yet, but I think because you're accommodating this application, I we should make every effort. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 4 p.m. on Does the clerk have any problem with me? May 10th at 4? Is that, that's not next week, is it? Yes. Yeah. It is? Okay, then no. Okay, no problem. Sounds good. Great.